Like so many other kids, Josh Kirkus is in class, in his bedroom, on a laptop. We start at 8 a.m., first period, have an hour of class, 15 minute break. Go to your second period, have a break, third period, break, lunch, and then fourth period, then you're done for the day. His classes end at 1.30. Well, you have enough time to get to your class, but not enough time to, you know, sit down and... Kirkus spent most of his freshman year inside Granite Bay High School. The school switched to online learning in the spring, a transition that had a bumpy start. Oh, yeah, the end of last year, they said, you know, we're just going to put you into this group. You guys are going to you know, learn this and then you're just going to do it. He says things got easier toward the end of the last school year and this fall he was supposed to have started in person classes. Then the school had to make a change right before the start of the academic year. Right up to the wire they said, all right, you guys are just going to do online, get ready for your classes and couple days. After that shaky start, his mother, Annette Delacruz, was worried about how things would start out this year. But she says Granite Bay had things on track from the beginning. Well, I was a little surprised that the school was actually as organized as they were because the E came home Friday knowing that he wasn't going to go to school next week. And at least one teacher had something uploaded by Monday. Every class has instruction on Zoom with teachers, though paying attention to the screen can be a problem. They have the distraction of your mom, you know, giving, putting your laundry on your bed, your dogs walking around the house, you know, just certain issues you have on the weekend when you're inside. You know, it's, I'm grateful that my kids are a little bit older where the actual school part is not difficult for me because really the accountability is on them to do the best that they can and I just make sure that he's mostly engaged and that he's getting his homework done, that he's studying. But my friends who have little kids, trying to keep a first grader in front of a computer is almost impossible. Dela Cruz says they have packed the same amount of material into the shortened class schedule, which does give her some concerns. Now with having science and math this first semester, it's gonna be really hard. And I see that it's a struggle to get uh, some of the information and we've hired a tutor just to make up for the lack of some of the instruction that needs to go on. Both Annette and her husband work in the medical field and have an older daughter at home going to online community college. So working out their schedules and Josh's schedules requires coordination and technology. We have a family calendar, it's all color coded and uh, and we're, it's shared, so if something pops up, he'll put it on the calendar to make sure we're aware of it so we're not overlapping. That calendar is their Bible. Everything from doctor's appointments to possible practice for sports to school events, it's part of the necessity for parents having the bedroom be today's classroom, at least for now. You know, we check in. You know, we make sure that his homework's done, his, break, his grades will pop up online. Um, but, you know, part of it is just trusting him to get it done. And I have a college age daughter who is at home and, you know, she's pretty encouraging to make sure he gets his thing done. And both Annette and Josh worry about the one key component that's really missing. The lessons he learned socially by being with his peers throughout the day. I miss everything. It's, it's different. It's hard to, you know, be a teenager without any social interaction outside of your house. I can't imagine being stuck at home and my only interaction is through a screen that that just, it's hard. It's hard on your brain, it's hard on your soul. It's difficult for any teenager to not see their friends. Dela Cruz is all for Josh being able to go back to school again, even if a COVID vaccine isn't ready yet. I do trust the school that they're gonna do their best to keep these kids isolated. And the reality is these kids are out doing their thing. When my son goes to the lake, when he goes up to grab a drink at Dutch Brothers. Josh puts it a little more bluntly. Oh, of course. Yeah, I'd I did for a million bucks. <laughs> and Dela Cruz says Granite Bay is set to begin hybrid classes October 12th. Uh, the students will alternate in-person classes in two different groups. So uh, kind of that A-B yeah. schedule thing that a lot of other schools are doing. So we'll check in with them and all of our other families as, we, as they begin the next phase of those classes. I can confirm what you said about the first graders in front of the screen. <laughs> Not great for hours on end. <laughs>